Hello everybody, my name is Jacob Toronto. Thank you for tuning in to ChasingCinema.com's official YouTube page, uh, where each day I'm updating everyone daily on movie news. Today we have some interesting stuff. I'm going to hop right into it. Marvel Studios is in talks of uh, developing a brand new show uh, with ABC and on a base on an existing Marvel comic hero. Now, that's interesting, not too surprising though, because um, as we know, Marvel has tried to has tried to expand from beyond the big screen to the small screen with their spin-off Agents of the Shield, as well as Agent Carter, which I'm sorry, I'm not much of a television person. I try to watch more movies than I do TV, and uh, I've not watched much of either. I actually don't think I've seen an episode of Agent Carter. I've seen maybe an episode or two of Agents of the Shield. And people have enjoyed it. I, I would say a fair share of people have liked the rate the show. I think the ratings are solid. But what I have not mentioned is something that is getting everyone buzzing, and that is Daredevil, the new show that uh, Marvel, the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Marvel Studios negotiated with Netflix, and and is brought to you all. In, Netflix form the whole season comes out at once and people have not stopped talking about it I honestly don't even think the show has made it to 10 days yet and it is a main conversation people are loving it so if this is happening then that just means we are expecting to see more Marvel movies which is genius because Marvel what Marvel is doing is they are making sure people eat sleep and live this brand oh we don't have a, a Marvel movie in theaters right now don't worry you could go on Netflix or ABC, which will be in this case, and watch a television show that's related to the Marvel Universe. They will, they're going to produce so many different outlets for you to enjoy Marvel, a Marvel Studio type production that you will always be able to enjoy something Marvel related. That is genius, and I think that's what makes Marvel such a dominant product. Granted, D granted, DC is in the process of trying to build this uh competitive mountain against marvel but honestly i don't think it's gonna happen at least for a while no even with justice league because marvel is so smart and they're getting in so many different forms you know that it's scary i mean marvel is everywhere i've started daredevil i'm gonna be reviewing it a little bit more in depth uh in upcoming uh, an upcoming video so make sure to keep tuned for that so hit that subscribe button so you're up to tune with that um but I mean, it's 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 genius of Marvel to make sure they are everywhere. They're on your Netflix, they're on your television, they're on they're in your theaters. They they want to be everywhere, and they want to make sure that they are constantly on your mind. And they're doing a great time doing that. Now, what what I what I find so interesting about this is that Marvel uh, Marvel Studios is developing this show with John Ridley who, if you don't know, is an Academy Award-winning uh, Academy Award winning screenwriter. He actually won it for last year's 2014 film, uh, Best Adapted Screenplay, 12 Years a Slave. Now, that was one of the best movies I've seen in a very, very long time. You could check all that out on my website, ChasingCinema.com, how I feel about that movie. That movie blew people away. I mean, that movie was unbelievable. But that man, working something on Marvel... He's also, uh, he obviously won the Academy Award, for, but he's also a producer, um, and he's producing Ben-Hur right now, which means he's getting some more, I'm sure, the action-flavored, yet still beautifully dramatic stories. He was also produced on 12 Years a Slave, which eventually that year, he won the Best Adapted Screenplay, would go on to win Best Picture. So, obviously the man has got talent. He actually, actually, uh, wrote for DC, uh, for the animated Justice League show, I believe, um, so he obviously has some sort of um, enjoyment in comic books and has a background, but you get someone like this in your creative circle and you get more and more talented directors and producers and writers, ones of Academy Award winning level, that's genius. Because what means what, what that means is essentially the quality of the films are gonna get higher, they're gonna get more competitive, and maybe one day we might see a Marvel movie that is worthy enough for an Academy Award. Now, do I think that'll happen anytime soon? Probably not, which is fine. Marvel doesn't need to win any Academy Awards because they're winning all the cash. Um, you think, uh, I mean, you, I mean, granted, 12 Years of Slave was an amazing movie, but its box office would never equal up to something like The Avengers. It's just not how it works. But once you start intermingling the two, I think you have something interesting there. I think this is a show you're already demanding me to see because how much I love 12 Years a Slave. I want to see what this guy creates with Marvel. But the bigger question everyone is asking, even though Marvel and ABC have kept quiet, is which superhero are they going to work on?
Which superhero show are they going to develop? Now, they have Daredevil, and um, there's been some rumors that it might be the Punisher, uh, but I would think that Punisher would be kind of a poor choice to just do on ABC. I think he belongs in a more, probably more of a Netflix setting. Um, I haven't got much into Daredevil, but it, I mean, I wouldn't say it's too insanely gritty or, or violent. So, I mean, I'm not sure where they want to go with him. So, who do you think they should make a series on? Who would you be interested in watching? They want to pick, they're going to want to pick someone that they might not want to make a movie for, or just not sure if they could make a movie on. Um, first, develop them, see if he gets enough traction power, and then throw him on the screen. I'm sure we'll see Daredevil movie eventually, or he'll be in one. You know, I mean, that's uh, for sure. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I really don't know who this could be on, but I'm interested. And the fact that they have someone of this caliber working on this project makes it that much more interesting. Who would you like Netflix and, uh, I'm sorry, not Netflix, ABC and Marvel Studios to make the series on? What superheroes do you think how excited are you? Have you watched Agents of the Shield? Have you watched Agent Carter? Um, have you watched Daredevil? Let me know all your thoughts right here in the comment section. The thing about Chasing Cinema is I love starting a dialogue, and that's what the point of this is. So let's get this conversation going. Make sure to hit that subscribe button so each day you are constantly updated with movie news, uh, movie reviews, our podcasts, trailer reviews, anything you can think of, it is here. And of course, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Jacob Toronto. That's J-A-C-O-B. T-I-R-A-N-N-O. Again, that is J-A-C-O-B-T-I-R-A-N-N-O. And please continue chasing cinema.